most of you seen uh, much of the media and the press about this over the last, uh, I guess, probably five or six months we've been kind of talking about. It. So we actually just, just announced that this is the Delta Street. It's a five inch uh, custom Android based tablet. It's five inches. Did any of you get hands on time with Sarah's today? We were playing with it last night as we played our class. Oh, well, this one's actually turned on if you want to pass it around. Oh, okay. Just hit the. Uh... Oh, it came on when I pulled it up. And, and so you guys know while Matt's doing that demo, Steve and I are going to be walking around and getting a few of your reactions on video as you first pick up the streak and interact with the streak. So that's what we're doing. So kind of the, uh, just real quickly, the, uh, the development inspiration around this was trying to achieve, you know, a couple different things. First of all, what some people don't know is we wanted it to do this, so act as a phone. We also wanted it to do this, fit in the pocket. And the other part is we wanted to create a great mobile web browsing experience that showcased uh, the web as the publisher intended. So one of the challenges on a smaller smaller smartphone or devices, uh, when, when you look at the web pages, they don't really always look like they should on a, uh, on a laptop. But that's difficult because you need to find the right balance of a large enough screen, but something that's also portable. So I want to show you what kind of one of my favorite things here. If you look up here, let me move this laptop. We've got this home dock that I have at my house that I've picked up with one cable to the TV. And if you think about, uh, I don't know how many of you guys live in the city and maybe take a subway to work and trying to kill time when, when you're not working, of course, I'm always working. Right but, uh, you know, if you, if you loaded some movies on here and when you got home, you had maybe like 20 minutes left of your movie, you wanted to finish it, but you need to cook dinner. Seriously, one button, I put it in my dock. HDMI. Oh, you switched it, sorry. <laughs> no, I got it, I got it right here. It's just on the wrong, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Ed wanted to steal my thunder, so he sabotaged my demo. Oh. That's what we do with that. So it's an HDMI slot, right? So, as of right here, you can watch. It's a great viewing experience, right? Let's kick in here and Let's say you get like, you know, halfway three quarters away through your movie, but you really want to watch the rest of it while you're doing something else. Put it in your dock. One touch, just one button. What resolution does it export? Yeah, exactly. So it's, uh, I think it's at 720p. I'm not exactly sure of the. Getting okay, higher screen. Oh, it's this volume. It's a mile. This is actually. Um, there were about a thousand people from this race, this race here in Austin, that uh, were provided um, a unit as a beta tester. And so what we did is we completely customized. Where's the other one? I can I, can I, can I, can I. So with Android, you'll know that you can have multiple home screens, right? You can customize them with whatever pictures you want, whatever widgets, applications. So for this, we gave a thousand people some. Uh, some beta units, and we completely customized with their pictures of them crossing the finish line, videos of them running. Um, did they already go past Ross daughter? No. Anyways, this was a this was a news segment that uh, KITV here in Austin taped, and I use it as, as my kind of my video to showcase the beta options. Video options. So a couple other things. One of, one of my actually favorite things that I use this for is uh, it's my, my navigation, my GPS device in my car now. We have you know some accessories like a dock that you can put in your car that shows. Let's see, I think I queued one up already in here. Can you tell it? Yeah, dude. Okay. Like, can you tell it? Like, can you well, we're, we're, we're talking to a number of Unified Communications companies about it. We haven't announced it yet, so we're not ready to announce kind of all of our partners with it. So That's this like front-facing yeah, camera, right? Yeah. Yes. Front-facing VGA and then a 5-megapixel camera on the back. What's the processor? Uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon. Does it support flash? 
It will. It'll, it'll support Flash 10.1 when Froyo comes out. So one of the great things about this device is you're going to buy it today. It's going to have all the great you know, technology features that you, that you want today, but it's going to be prepared for tomorrow. So it's not one of those devices that you buy and it's completely outdated in, you know, in a month. Right? This will support all over-the-air updates. So when the carrier pushes out the, the Android update Froyo, which is 2.2, 2 .2, I think, that this will support it. And then Flash 10.1 is dependent on Froyo, so you'll be able to get those updates right over the air. What resolution does it record video That I don't know. I'll have to get back to it. It's Wi Fi enabled? Yes, so Wi Fi, Bluetooth. Um, I have my SIM card in here, so I'm running off 3G right now. But handwriting recognition? No. I don't. It, we do on our smartphones. I'm not sure on this one. There, there are uh, apps in the, uh, in the uh, market, in, in the Android market, that's on the phone that, that do have uh, handwriting. Handwriting. Sir? Turn on. Is it a capacitive screen? Is there any, uh, Excuse is there... me. It's a capacitive screen? Or... Yes. Uh, on the sides. So these are capacitive. So touch the home button right there and you'll feel it. Oh. It vibrates. It's so weird. Oh, wow. So on, on the front, you have your back button, your menu key, and then your home button. So it's a real quick, if you get like you know five windows in and you want to get back to the home screen, it's a quick touch. One of the other cool buttons is just like on your web browser, everybody loves tab browsing now. You can open up as many windows as you want. Right. So multiple windows. So if you don't have to like close one browser down to go search for something else that you're interested in. And it's, you know, you could be browsing, you could be talking on the phone at the same time. You don't have to close one up to do the other. And then, obviously, you've got Android Market. You can go and, you know, download. I don't know how many thousands of apps. I think they're, they're queuing up about an extra 10 grant or 10,000 apps a month or something like that. So it's growing incredible. The developers are on board and just creating some great applications. So... Um, the first one I know internationally, it's been picked up by international carriers. Is yep. there a carrier announcement in the U.S.? There will be later this summer. So it was like May 25th, we, we announced with uh, O2 is the carrier in, in, in the U.K. And Carphone Warehouse is the retailer, so you can buy it on uh, O2.com or O2 retail stores or the Carphone Warehouse retail or, or online. And uh, I mentioned to, uh, to, to my audience that I was coming to look at Delco Bill, and I had a few questions that I, I, I promised I would ask. Okay. Um, so uh, the, the first one that I would ask is, is Dell planning on entering the mobile space permanently? I know there's been sort of little forays here and there. Um, is, is Dell something that Dell's committed to? Oh, yeah, we're, we're here. We have a, a whole business unit called the Communication Solutions Group that, uh, that all these devices are coming on the frame. And uh, the next question I want to ask is, how does the Dell team view the iPhone 4, and how do they view sort of Apple's design uh, as a whole? In, in what context? Like? So the, the question would be, consider a product like the iPhone 4 to be direct competitor or something like this, or is okay. it something that's in a completely different market here? And what, what market are you trying to target to? It sort of seems like an in-between. Well, this, I mean, it is. Like I said before, we really wanted to create a product that, that was capable of providing a great web browsing experience, but also what you don't see in some of the other tablets is the ability to do this, to make your phone calls. And also yeah, put it in I mean, it's the, the the form factor and the weight is really great. Like you can hold this product and play with it. Larger tablets that are coming out now, they're they're heavy, they're harder to hold. So the the motion based games or whatever are are, are, are you know are taxing. And uh, with this form factor, we think it's really great. And the ability when you see this this is an ultra high resolution display. You just you can see a full web page on the on the display. So scanning and scrolling is really great. What's the screen uh, resolution? Does it have an accelerometer? Yes. yes. Yeah. So it'll turn as it, as it turns. And John, the screen resolution is 800 by 480. And I, I won't do this demo here because it always scares me, and I know it's you're able to do it, but it does have what's called Gorilla Glass, so Ooh. it's super resistant to scratches. And I've given the demo probably about 20 or 30 times, and I, I, you know. I've only got so many four-leaf clovers in my pocket. I, I just prefer I don't, this is this is mine. I don't want to <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's great. I know some of the guys uh, that work on the product team. I mean, they take pens and they're just jamming on it, and then people are just like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> but, yeah, it's very and, and again, I mean, this really is what, what Wes said. You know, you can be a phone too. I mean, 
it's really optimized around data first and voice second. Whereas, you know, if you want something smaller, it's optimized for phone. We've got smartphones too, and I do have a few over here that I can pass around as well. And is this the first in the streets product list? Correct. So, you know, we're continually investing and looking at other areas, you know, other form factors, depending on what, what the usage needs are that we hear from folks like you and, and, and our carrier partners, you know, we'll continue to monitor that feedback and, and Ed's team, uh, the, the mad scientists over here, will definitely pick something up that, that Sorry, I missed it. Is there a free date the price for it? Later this summer in the U.S. It's already available in the U.K. Okay. But we haven't used it. Okay, guys, we're going to have to move over in about five minutes, so if you guys have any last questions, just make sure you get I think Carolyn wants to come, come around and talk to you guys individually just to kind of get some advice. Is there anybody who wants to give some feedback on your experience with the streak on camera? This is 